na mtazamaji kando na siasa sasa tuangazie masala ya elimu ambapo wizara ya elimu inashirikiana na idara ya upelelezi wa jinai kuweka kumbukumbu ya wanafunzi wanaojiingiza kwenye vitendo vya kihalifu wakati visa vya moto shuleni na utovu wa nidhamu vikiongezeka waziri wa elimu George Magoha amesema serikali inakadiria kurejesha adhabu ya kiboko shuleni kama njia ya kukabiliana na tatizo hilo Visa kadhaa vya moto vimeshuhudiwa katika shule mbalimbali humu nchini cha hivi karibuni kikiwa katika shule ya upili ya Kituru katika kaunti ya Baringo ambapo bweni la pili liliteketezwa mapema leo. Ni hali hii ambayo imefanya Wizara ya Elimu kuchukua hatua za kutambulisha wanaotekeleza visa hivyo. Waziri wa Elimu Profesa George Magoha alizuru eneo la Kisi alifichua kwamba serikali iko katika harakati za kuweka kumbukumbu ya wanafunzi wote wanaohusishwa na utovu wa nidhamu. We are in communication now with the director of criminal investigation to ensure that we will, if we suspect, go to a school at random and do blood tests on the children. And if we find that we are under substance abuse, action will be taken so that we don't have to wait and deal with do other things that will affect other children. Magoha alisema serikali inakadiria kuanzisha adhabu kali shuleni kukabiliana na utovu wa nidhamu na akatoa wito kwa wazazi na walimu kuchukua hatua kabambe kukabiliana na wanafunzi wanaotekeleza visa hivyo. If you are to ask my very frank opinion, maybe I'm living in the past, but I hope that in future capital punishment will be reintroduced back in schools as long as it is properly used for the female child we shall use the hand extended hand for the boy child they very well from back side and the, the, the stick to be used should be standardized so that the child can the idea is to inflict a bit of pain so that the child can know this one is a noble Profesa Magoha alisema maafisa wa serikali watafanya ziara zisizopangwa shuleni katika juhudi za kukabiliana na uraibu wa mihadarati na akaagiza kwamba walimu wa vitoe viuzi vyote vilivyo mikononi mwa wanafunzi. Get it from the children because they can use it for two things: one, to start fires; two, to get intoxicated and do other things. Wakati huo huo, wizara ya elimu imesema imesambaza pesa za ujenzi na ukarabati wa muundo mbinu shuleni miongoni mwa mahitaji mengine. Kufikia sasa, serikali imetoa shilingi elfu mbili kugharamia kila mwanafunzi kati ya shilingi elfu tano zilizotengwa miradi ya shule kwingineko chama cha walimu wa sekondari na vyuo kinaitaka serikali kutoa mafunzo ya usalama kwa walimu wanaohudumu katika maeneo ambapo usalama umedhorora na pia kuwa hami kwa binduki we are repeating this demand that in the pockets of insecurity teachers must, must be trained and provided with guns because you cannot you cannot confront a gunman with a chalk Kaimu katibu wa chama hiyo Moses Thuruma anasema kupatia walimu bunduki kutawapa ujasiri na kuendelea kufanya kazi katika maeneo hayo. When you take a teacher to in, uh, insecurity prone areas that teacher will constantly live in fear. But if the gun is hanging on his back even the body to know that, that that guy is no goes on and you you will take the second uh, thought before they make mistakes. Nikiripotia darubini ya Channel 1 mimi ni Emily K Bade